Welcome, wise child, to this week's history all about our happy blessed lady. Welcome. Welcome. Oh, Marie. Thanks for oh, joining oh, Marie. me. Oh, Marie. This is the first part, called an introduction, to what you'll see on our show all about our mother Mary. Mary, Mary is the mother of Christ, so we tell you here of her life pure and most holy. But you'll first need to know a few places and words like Israel, fast and ancestors. Israel is a country in the Middle East, an area between Asia and Africa, on the Mediterranean Sea. Israel was also a man who had at least one daughter and twelve sons that fathered the twelve tribes of Israel. Fasting is when someone does not eat or drink or gives up something for some time. Our ancestors are our parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, their parents, and their parents, parents and their parents, 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 and the whole chain of parents all the way back to the beginning of time. And now our story on the birth of Mary. According to the records of the twelve tribes of Israel, there once was a very rich man named Joachim. He always doubled the gifts he offered to his lord, which we'll call Shema, and would say to himself, one gift representing my prosperity will be for all the people. The other offered for forgiveness will be my sin offering to Shema. Now the great day of Shema was approaching, and the people of Israel were offering their gifts. And Rubel confronted Joachim and said, You're not allowed to offer your gifts first because you haven't produced an Israelite child. Can you believe that? And Joachim became very upset and went to the book of the twelve tribes of the people, saying to himself, I'm going to check the book of the twelve tribes of Israel to see whether I'm the only one in Israel who hasn't produced a child. And he searched the records and found that all the righteous people in Israel did indeed have children. And he remembered the patriarch, the great father, Abraham, because in his last days, Shema had given a son to him, Isaac. And so he continued to be very upset and did not see his wife, but banished himself to the wilderness and pitched his tent there, living all alone in the wilderness. And Joachim fasted 40 days and 40 nights he would say to himself, I will not go back for food or drink until Shema, my God, visits me. Prayer will be my food and drink. Only prayer is what he lived on for food and drink. Now his wife Anna was mourning and lamenting for two reasons. I lament, she said, my widowhood and I lament my childlessness, lamenting meaning she was sad. The great day of Shema approached, however, and Juthin, her slave, said to her, How long are you going to humble yourself? Look, the great day of Shema has arrived, and you're not supposed to mourn or be sad. Rather, take this headband, which the mistress of the workshop gave to me, but which I'm not allowed to wear because I'm your slave and because it bears a royal insignia of kings and queens. And Anna said, get away from me. I won't take it. Shema, our God, has greatly shamed me. Maybe a trickster has given you this and you've come to make me share in your sin. And Juthine, the slave, replied, should I curse you just because you haven't paid any attention to me? Shema has made your womb sterile, so you won't bear any children for Israel. Anna, too, became very upset. She took off her mourning clothes and washed her face and put on her wedding dress. Then, in the middle of the afternoon, she went down to her garden to take a walk. She spied a laurel tree and sat down under it. After resting, she prayed to Shema, O oh God of my ancestors, bless me and hear my prayer just as you blessed our mother, Sarah, and gave her a son, Isaac. 
Oriana is praying, begging for a child. Will she get one from Shima? Join us next week for the rest of the story on the exciting birth of Our Lady Mary. For now, let's recap our three new words for today. Do you recall what they were? One started with an F for Israel, the land between Asia and Africa. One started with an F for fasting, which is when someone gives something up for some time like food and drink. And the last started with an A for ancestors, our parents, grandparents, great parents, and all their parents back to the beginning of time. Give thanks for them or we wouldn't be here to play and eat and have fun, which we always do on this channel, the Wise Child Channel. Cheery dearie. Feliz Navidad. Bobo Marie. Bobo Marie.